News this midday, a Virginia Senate panel has passed a revised version of the controversial ultrasound bill that initially called for an internal ultrasound for women seeking an abortion. Governor Bob McDonnell and GOP moderates came out against the procedure and threw their support behind a milder form of the bill that calls for an external ultrasound instead of using the transvaginal camera. The Senate panel also passed a personhood bill that says life begins at conception. The issues are bringing out people from both sides to the Planned Parenthood in Virginia Beach, and that's where we find tenant your side, Stephanie Harris. Stephanie? Hey, Carrie and Don, this driveway here in front of Planned Parenthood pretty much splits the two sides. We have pro-choice over here, and we have a group of pro-life protesters over here. We do have some of the pro-choice that have joined this side here, too, for the cameras today. Now, basically, these guys have been out here since 9 o'clock this morning, about 75 people strong in all. And what they're trying to do right now, they're kind of split evenly, kind of like the Senate is. The full Senate is now split 20 Democrats. 20 Republicans, and the full Senate will have to vote on both of those bills. So these folks are out here right now hoping to get their message not only to the senators, but to all these people who are driving by. They're hoping that they can get their message to those folks in the cars or those folks walking by to let them know to go out and call their senators and let them know how they want, how they want them to vote. Now, earlier today I did ask both sides as well about what happened this morning with the Senate committee, and our pro-life people said that with that uh, just over the stomach ultrasound, they felt that that was a shame because if a woman is only say five or six weeks pregnant then you won't see anything or hear a heartbeat on that kind of an ultrasound and they said that really was the whole point of that bill whereas our pro-choice side said that is at least a step in the right direction now so far this has been a very peaceful gathering today they're planning to be out here for a while longer we're going to stay out here and we'll bring you a full report coming up tonight on wavy news 10 beginning at five donna carey all right stephanie harris thanks very much folks out they're obviously trying to maximize Stephanie's time on camera. Uh, what we have heard out of Richmond is that government, Governor McDonald has said he would sign the revised version of the bill if it were to cross his desk. This topic, of course, has many of you turning to our wavy Facebook page. Jennifer says a patient and her doctor should decide if an ultrasound is appropriate. I really don't think this is a legislative concern, nor would it change a person's mind. Lisa writes, I don't agree. What is wrong with making an informed decision? And Corey says, I believe it's up to the individual female. If she wants the ultrasound, then so be it. But if not, then who is anyone to force that upon her?